Stick with me for five minutes and I'll show you how I used AI to make this little peep in Juice World song. We'll use a theory board, which is a music theory MIDI controller, to make this beat. We'll pick the scale G Liddy. The left side loads every chord within that scale and the right side loads the single notes. We'll start the beat with this guitar sound over some drums. We'll play some chords with an arpeggiator and record the first bar of our vocals. I use the Kenny Beats vocal chain and those are my settings for the sends at the bottom. So take a screenshot if you want this for later. We'll export the wet vocals. This means it keeps all the effects from the vocal chain, but no instrumentals. Now there's two ways to do this. You could use Sovitz SVC4 on your computer, but the fastest way is to join the AI World Discord server. I'll put a link in the description of the YouTube video. If you're not on YouTube, search the keyword that I have at the bottom. It was really easy to sign up. I just had to put in an email address. When you're in the server, choose available voices from the left hand side. You can see all the voices, but we'll copy Juice and we'll go down to AI Bot 1 on the left hand side. We'll paste Juice and then we'll add Juice A, vertical bar 1. Next we take the vocal file, drag and drop it into the window, and hit enter. Uh, you can see it right here, and the bot responded, bot is busy, you are one in line, and now the processed audio is done. We'll click download in the top right corner of the file and drag it back to the desktop. You have to wait five minutes in between each upload, and when that's done, we'll choose Little Peep 2 and do the same thing. We'll add the same bot, and then we'll grab our file, drag it, drop it, press enter, and then we'll download it when it's done converting. I recorded two takes of each track slightly different, converted them, and then stacked them on top of each other. I also put them back onto the vocal chain with the effects on. We'll continue to use the theory board to make the beat while we listen to the results of the AI conversion. Right side of the theory board updates with four octaves of whatever chord you press. We'll take this B minor chord and we'll play this solo for the chorus. original chord progression into the VST strummed acoustic 2 and throw halftime on top of it for this breakdown This was my first attempt at making an AI song. I can't believe it turned out this good. It's, this is crazy. It'll be interesting to see how this develops and how different artists respond to this new tech. Like on one hand, you have Drake's team who went after the guy who made the viral song, but then you have Grimes who completely open sourced her voice. She's even going to split revenue 50-50 with whoever makes good songs that she likes. I also imagine artists will use ghost producers to increase their output as well as make actual songs for them. And from a producer standpoint, Point, it'll be really cool to experiment with new vocal models, not even necessarily famous people, but basically like vocal packs that people drop. Or even the combination of voices, like an amalgamation of multiple voices, or computer generated voices that don't even come from a human. Regardless, this is going to be disruptive and it's super cool, so you guys should start experimenting with it. If you want to hear the full song, type these keywords that are on the screen into YouTube and click on the one that has this thumbnail. Alright, I'm done ranting now. Thank you guys for listening. Triple X and Prodigy